We are right at the edge of the Kung Kabin Bay. So the mangroves are behind and the bay is here. The tide is out. And we just saw a performance of the music group. Students from Yale and U.S. and uh, the Claremont Colleges and Burapa work together to create a narrative just in sound. And they asked us to close our eyes. It challenged them in a visually dominated culture to tune into the other senses. I asked them to correct uh, their idea about uh, environmental issue in the mangrove. What I can say is nature is the uh, best teacher for them. This is the first time that I took students into the field where we immerse them as a group into field conditions. And I found it really interesting the way that some students um, did not enjoy getting muddy, um, while other students found it to be a lot of fun. And it was a personal joy to me to be able to take all the students to kind of push themselves beyond stuff that they would normally get to do during their studies. One of the things I really like about EnviroLab Asia is the capacity to teach a course preparing students for their clinic trip. The clinic trip, um, is a way of seeing something on the ground that we've looked at in the classroom. Uh, the EnviroLab Asia class learned various types of methodologies in humanities, social sciences, and the sciences. We had this year a science lab, a rural and agricultural lab, and a performing arts lab. The clinic project, it's a time period of intensive on the ground field work research to support uh, faculty and student labs. We are at the King's Project and it's a mangrove forest conservation area and we've compiled a series of performances that will be performing in front of high school students and other visitors of the park. I'm a part of the Performing Arts Lab for EnviroLab Asia and this week we've taken part in a bunch of different disciplines doing soil samples, talking to the local community. The students spend this six days to explore how to express their knowledge by art. This is a skirt that we made out of fallen mangrove leaves and leftover trash. We're making a clothing line for the art exhibition about the pollution in the mangrove. It's made me realize the complexity of environmental issues because a lot of times you read things in your textbooks, you learn things in class about what is the theoretical perfect way to solve a problem, but things aren't really that easy. We learned about traditional knowledge and how people have been living for generations here. So you need to have a synthesis of both kinds of knowledge and be open for innovation and creative thinking. Each day we would take a group of students by truck to sample the mangrove along this transect. Women, particularly women in the global south, often are, uh, use as scapegoats for a lot of environmental The mangroves provide a lot of ecosystem services. They capture a lot of carbon and store it. There's a lot of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere, so any system that can capture carbon and store it is important to us. Between the university and the coast where the mangroves are, there's extensive shrimp farming. Historically, the approach has been to deforest coastal mangroves to make way for shrimp agriculture. However, the late Thai king moved towards making shrimp agriculture more sustainable and reforesting the mangroves. We're interested in how the nutrients from the shrimp farm have influenced this carbon storage in the mangrove. We're collecting snails and tree oysters from the mangrove. We're going to compare the snails from the reference transect to the, the impact transect to see if shrimp farm affluent really does affect the mangroves. We are all kind of acting out our own uh, perceptions, interpretations of nature, and we're kind of molding it all into one story. Our directors were two students from um, Barapa University in the theater department. Let me say the word. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We all gotta repeat. Mm -hmm. 
and they really let us all kind of characterize nature for ourselves. It's refreshing because I, I don't get to do this often at school or anywhere else. <laughs> but it's fun. They're a lot of fun. And it's definitely outside my comfort zone. <laughs> I think being challenged by the other Barapa University students to think about how we can embody nature, that has definitely been the most challenging but fun part of this experience. Have you worked with um, nature themes before or science themes? No. Because new. I don't really like science or uh, coming out like this, but this is so challenge for me to do some science, do the mangrove. This has been a bizarre but really insightful experience for me. This is really the first time I'm seeing something like this being done, and I'm part of the production. This collaboration through EnviroLab Asia has completely changed my way of thinking about how we can communicate what we find and translate our scientific findings into a form of communication that a lot more people will hear and learn about the message of what we see in the impact of humans on the environment. Um, can you put this in the bag? I don't know. If or we're we don't want these. It. Oh. Oh. I think all the bags are closed. Oh, okay. This can, one can uh, live. Good oh, job. Lucky you. <laughs> oh.